In this video, we're gonna talk about Foundry's new virtual production solution, Nuke Stage. You're watching VP Land. A special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic, View, and Lucidlink for helping make our NAB coverage possible. And now, back to the video. Tell me about Nuke Stage. Yeah, so Nuke Stage is the result of a uh, kind of a long journey that uh, Foundry has uh, been on ever since sort of the big bang of virtual production. Obviously talking about the Mandalorian and uh, you know, more specifically like the, un the entry of Unreal into not just the virtual production scene, but really into the whole filmmaking scene. Myself, I was in charge of a team inside of Foundry um, to basically build real-time technologies and figure out how to accelerate workflows. We're a long course of uh, you know different experiences, both like building some technology into Nuke, uh, bringing some of that technology into some film production, and then doing a really long R&D effort with a lot of uh, alpha and beta testing around what is now Nuke Stage. Um, the end result is something that we feel really proud of and we're uh, really excited to be able to bring into the hands of filmmakers. What are what were some of the pain points? That Nuke Stage is like that you found, and like kind of what is, how is Nuke Stage uh, addressing that? So one of the things that we uh, we did as we were building this was try to you know do a lot more listening than doing as we were building very incrementally. It was a research team, and we were really listening very intently to how people were adopting virtual production, finding utility with it, but also where there was a lot of pain, and you know it wasn't a smooth trip. Uh, as you know, virtual production has been on a roller coaster and uh, our efforts to build Nuke Stage was also kind of like following that whole roller coaster. So some of the things specifically that we saw, uh, obviously game engines are great, you can do amazing stuff, but the whole promise of virtual production was to bring post into pre. And what ended up happening with the adoption of game engines is a lot, oftentimes when you work with a game engine and you can shoot with a game engine, but then when you get into post, you sort of like fall off a cliff. There isn't really like a really great transition. And the assets that you're using in post and the assets you do in pre-production are often very disconnected. And it really sort of like left traditional VFX people out of the loop. So everything around Nuke Stage is all about bringing visual effects people back into the whole creative flow of virtual production and essentially sewing the whole process up so that can get that economy and really have that uh, whole process of like end-to-end -end workflow end-to-end -end expertise, end-to-end -end tools. And um, that's what we've just been really focused on. And so is it integrating with Unreal or is it just, are you bringing in your more traditional uh, 3D, uh, 3D models? Like how are you building the virtual worlds or kind of running it? Yeah, it's a really good question. So it doesn't integrate with Unreal in the way, in the way that a lot of virtual production tools are sort of built on or around Unreal. Um, the sort of diet of uh, Nuke Stage is USD, uh, and EXR, and we're looking at supporting more formats like Notch, for example, down the road. But really, you know, it's the same type of 3D setups that visual effects people uh, are used to doing, you know, to build sort of, you know, mixing photography and virtual elements. So here I'm really talking about, you know, two and a half D, uh, you know, really high resolution photographic imagery projected onto simple geometry where you get that parallax, you've got, you know, photographic plates mixed in. Of course, virtual production is very broad. You know, you have kind of like green screen virtual production. You have full 3D. We have tons of you know freedom. Those types of things. You know, maybe they're not really in the sweet spot of something like Nuke Stage. But we think kind of the the bulk of virtual production that's really aimed at you know film and TV really uses those types of virtual production techniques or can really benefit from it. And there's a real gap missing in the existing tools to fill that space. And uh, that's essentially what we're aiming at. Mm -hmm. So like more like uh, like play playback or uh, like you said, 2.5D elements, something where you're not, you don't need a full immersive 3D world, but you need to have environments of some. Exactly. Yeah. Like the examples we use for, uh, one example we use often is like the Batman, you know, the beautiful scene looking over Gotham City where, you know, they photographed, uh, you know, parts of New York and they kind of Gothamized them and they had, you know, kind of more plate-based stuff in the background, you know, two, you know, simple geometry in the mid-ground buildings and more full 3D stuff in the foreground. And it was really about just blending all of those elements together. And then, you know, when they shoot that scene, it was really about like dialing in the color and the look of every single layer. So it just looked as beautiful as possible. It wasn't about building a giant video game world and just kind of moving around and exploring. It was just, you know, that kind of like the director, the you know, DOP really knew what they were trying to get. 
And uh, having that type of creative control over every single aspect is really where Nuke Stage is, uh, you know, really focused at center at. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you walk me through, like, so if someone was going was doing a production kind of with Nuke Stage and the Nuke pipeline, like, what would this new, like, from pre-production to post, what would this kind of new pipeline look like? Yeah. Um, so, like I said, Nuke Stage main diet USD and EXR. So really, kind of blocking out your, uh, your environment uh, in USD. So you could be bringing in a mix of tools there. Uh, you know, USD is kind of this, uh, you know, more and more is this really great, uh, not just a transport format, but really has lots of great workflows and a lot of great tools. So you can get into Houdini, Maya. Uh, and the idea is, you know, you likely bring all of this into Nuke to really, you know, bring in all of the, the you know, high resolution EXR. And then you just export that out. And now you've got a USD scene bunch of EXR plates or textures on your USD scene. And in Nuke Stage, you can just load that up and get it right on your wall instantaneously. Uh, you don't have to bake anything down. You don't have to you know, leave that pipeline. And then you shoot with that. As you're shooting, you have a continuation of that process that you started in pre-production. So now you can build uh, node graphs that are based on the same language as what you have in Nuke. We've taken many of the sort of compositing oriented nodes from Nuke and brought them straight into uh, Nuke stage. We have a whole raft of uh, color oriented ones, a whole bunch of OCIO related nodes, and uh, several nodes that are focused right at VP, like for example, tracking markers, we have real time, uh, real time blur, and you know, really just dialing that content in real time for shooting. And then after that, all of your metadata and the state of your, what you shot is captured in a database that we call the vault. And then you can bring that into post-production and then just continue that creative process with the same snapshot of the USD scene, all of the color decisions that were made, uh, and you know, all of your camera tracking, your lensing information that can all be brought into Nuke and you can finalize and get your, your final pixels. So as far as availability, um, is this kind of beta, slowly rolling it out? Like what's, uh, if someone wanted to use this right now, what's the process? Yeah, so it's out of beta. Okay. Uh, so we have something that we feel is uh, you know, kind of ready for production. And the next step for Nuke Stage is really to find its first few productions. Um, and because it's a new product, uh, and also because you know, winning trust with, uh, with folks who, you know, who are in production is our number one priority, uh, we're looking for a small number of productions to work with so that we can really make those super successful and not only find out how productions can leverage the strengths of Nuke Stage, but also kind of find out what's missing. Uh, you know, we want to hone the workflows we want to find out, do we have any big gaps that we need to fill? Um, you know, we have a good idea of where we're going with the roadmap, but you know, finding any unknown unknowns uh, by working really closely with a small number of productions is where we, we want to get. So if I get to the end of the year with you know, a handful of really successful productions, to me, that's success or new stage. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate the time. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And thanks again to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible. For more NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist with all of our NAB coverage. Catch you in the next episode.